Welcome back. Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, I, I get this question asked often, please do a collection video. So today I'm going to give you all my, my $70 and over sub three inch uh, knife collection. And for all of you who just want to see the, the collection, watch that part. But if you want to see, I'm picking my sub three inch all, store, all stars after I show all the knives. So if you're interested in seeing that, you have to stick around. So let's get started. <coughs> we have the Quiet Carry Strand. Nice titanium frame lock D2 steel, satin blade. I still need to do a review of this guy. Let me know if you want to see that. They make some really cool stuff that signature whole pattern they have like that. Pretty cool. Um, the Sog Spec Elite Mini. Y'all saw this on a video recently. Got the arc lock. Um, very, very smooth action. I don't like the bead blast, but VG10 Steel. Saki City Japan. FRN. Um, next is my VDK War, I mean, VDK Pharaoh, very classy looking knife, got S35 VN steel, satin grind, titanium with dual, uh, carbon fiber bolsters, very, very classy, love the handle, it's one of my favorite parts, very, very nice, like a bolster lock there, there you go. Um, another one that y'all saw recently in the video, another SOG, I don't have many SOGs, but the ones I do, there you go, got the nice mother of pearl inlay, mother of pearl inlay on the, uh, thumb stud, got the arc lock, such a smooth lock, very, very smooth, uh, this one's the San Mai VG10, absolutely love it, this one would get carried so much more if it had a pocket clip. Very comfortable in hand, fits my medium sized hands excellently. There you go, this is the Stingray. Stainless handles, but it's not overly heavy. It's milled out. Nice knife. <coughs> the Spyderco Reinhold Rhino, CTSX HP, satin grind, uh, G10 carbon fiber laminate. Very well done. It looks pretty much like peel ply. Uh, compression lock, not a fan of the clip, and after using this guy for a while, I got some, I'll be doing my final review this here soon, be looking for it. Oop, that's the Reinhold Rhino, XHP. Uh, let's see, uh, new acquisition, one that I was very excited to pick up, it's the Para 3 with the burnt orange G10 scales. And the uh, Rex 45 Steel by Crucible. Love this knife. Tell you what, this is the sharpest Spyderco that I've gotten out of box to date. And I've had quite a few Spydercos. And uh, they were out of the Casey Lynch clip, so I decided to pick up an MXG gear clip. Hey, it works. Very, very smooth. I find on these sprint runs or whatever, you know, special runs or whatever, uh, they really pay attention to detail on them. I've, I've never had any issues. They were always super smooth, uh, centered up, very, very nice. Uh, another sprint run that I was happy to pick up is my Hap 40 Delica Warncliffe. I've been wanting the Warney Delica but I uh, didn't want just a plain Jane one, and my local shop had the Hap 40. There you go. With the nice cladded uh, Hap 40 with the SUS 410 cladding over the outside. And I learned a lot about that from about this process from Big Brown Bear here on YouTube and Triple Handmade on Instagram. So I might do a video about that. Me and JT have been talking about it. Why? why this one's cladded and the Rex 45 isn't. I figured, I found out some cool information about that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Next one is the Wii Rectifier. 
Excellent, excellent knife. S35 VN steel. Satin flats. Uh, stone washed grinds. G10 titanium hardware. Titanium backspacer. Titanium frame lock. Just an excellent, excellent little guy. But definitely, if you got large hands, this might not, this is not gonna be the knife for you. My medium sized hands just fit it just right. Next one I just picked up off a of mass drop, and that is the Boker FR. Been wanting to check out the FR ever since Blade Show, but not a huge, you know, if I can get S35 rather than VG10 at the same price, pretty much, why not? And that's what I did here S35 VN steel. I uh, like, like some things about this knife, but uh, yeah, I'll wait for the review. I'll probably do a comparison review of these two knives if y'all would like to see it. There you go. And why not show it? Next one is the We Produced Ferrum Forge Mass Drop Collaboration Gent S35 VN Steel. G10 overlays on a titanium frame. So it's pretty much a, I guess you call it a liner lock, but it's pretty much like a frame lock. Those are just overlays. Nice, very nice uh, deep carry clip. I love that clip. Great action. Awesome knife. Next is my Strider SJ75. S30V steel with an excellent heat treat. You got that awesome dragon spine uh great dragon spine and then they also brought it over there as well just nice and unique definitely an odd looking knife but i like it very nice slicer very very thin hollow grind there you go that's the strider sj 75 and i also like this milling pattern let me know if y'all want to see a review on this guy too i, I know i didn't do one because it's it's uh you know, an older knife, and it's, you know, discontinued, too. Next one is the Berg's Blade Iron Pup, produced by Wee Knives. You got the titanium carbon fiber titanium bolster, S35 VN steel with, like, an acid wash look to it. Nice clip point. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Beautiful. Very, very well done. Next is my DPX Hest Urban uh, D2, no, 154CM uh, black coated blade. This is the murdered out shawl version. Black G10, black coated titanium. Deep carry pocket clip on bearings. Very, very cool knife. Very comfortable in hand. Next is my Hinder Half Track S35 VN Steel with that nice working finish. Um, G10 overlay, titanium frame lock. And I like this nice texturing on the back. And eh, the pot clip's okay. Definitely didn't think I was going to like this knife as much as I do, but there you go. Sorry, I got a bag cold. Next one is the modded by me Kaiser Feist front flipper. Uh, S35 VN steel, stone washed, standard hardware for Kaiser. This is a Justin Lundquist design, very minimalist design. And this is another one of my favorites. I'm about to go para three with the peel ply carbon fiber and the S90 V steel uh, with the Casey Lynch deep carry clip made for the para three. Excellent, excellent. And this action on this one, ooh, so smooth. Now I have taken this one down, so it is a little bit smoother than my Rex 45 because I hadn't taken that one apart, but this one's just butter. Love this knife. Next is another Spider Co. Spider code Cali 3. Get that ZDP 189 cladded with that 420J2. Very elegant knife. I think this one's discontinued as well. That's real carbon fiber there. Satin finish. You can see the weave on the side. 
very smooth knife for not having any washers it's just running on it's just running on the frame very very nice another spider co my delica in hap 40 uh, with aftermarket uh, natural micarta scales casey lynch deep carry clip and this is that perfect delica for me got that cladding going on as well it's got my edge on it, which a lot of these do. Next one I just posted a video on is my pretty new to me Lamic Busker Semper. That bejeweled Anno. I think I'm going to be sending this back to get a blasted finish though, because even though I love the look and the feel of this, it's a little slick in hand, especially for a front flipper. I don't want this guy going flying across my, my house. Love this knife, though. This is, this is definitely going to be a, a keeper. <coughs> Next is my Best Tech Goblin that I've modified with that, that historic, that, you know, battleground... Uh, acid wash with the copper infused in it just wanted it to make it look really rustic and I just put that on there just to test it out I'm, I'll plan on keeping that there I just wanted to see if you know you can spotty flick it and slow roll it you know being that they were doing this slip joint like this wanted to see what it'd be like to have like a blade hole definitely love this knife great utility very comfortable ergos are really nice and it's rocking my edge as well. I use this guy a good bit. Uh, next one is another mass drop collaboration with Farron Ford Knife Works produced by Wheat Knives. The Falcon that I picked up on trade from my good buddy Copper Dice. S35VN titanium frame lock riding on bearings. Um, the only reason I didn't pick this knife up originally is because I had the Wii knife that looked a lot like this one. And I sold that guy to my buddy, Nasty Renegade, and decided to give this one a try. Uh, another Spyderco. Spyderco Leaf Storm, a long discontinued and heavily sought out knife. Uh, this is designed by Kevin Wilkins, who makes the Wilkins grips for the Griptilian and other knives. S30V steel satin finish, JG10, titanium frame lock. There's his logo. All right, we're getting close to the end of the collection. Uh, Viper Knives Lil, so Jesper Vox Nays design, rocking my edge as well. Oh, look at that. Oh. Uh, I like the design a lot. There is some. Some flaws that kind of make this knife a bummer to me, but still enjoy it, and I'll keep it around the collection for a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Nice crown spine. Uh, Bowler M390 steel. Belly for days. Nothing but belly. Titanium frame lock. There you go. Oldie. Well, not really oldie, but another Spyderco. Whoop. My Spyderco Techno, a Marcin Schlees design. Uh, I had all of them. I had the Bowie and the Spidey Chef. I got rid of the Bowie. Just wasn't the favorite of, you know, out of the Spidey Chef and the Bowie. I I I prefer the Bowie. I mean, the Spidey Chef just a little bit more, mainly because the LC 200N. I just like the the different look to it. But there you go. It's the Techno XHP Titanium Frame Lock. Picked this guy up at Blade Show this year. It's the ProTech Strider PT. And it's my only, this is my only uh, auto that's like, you know, worth a damn. And ProTech makes a great auto. I love, I love how they did this deep carry clip. 154 cm aluminum scales with that knurling on there. Very, very comfortable for my medium sized hands. You got a saber grind on there. There you go. And this one was a gift from my wife for our first anniversary. 
and that is the original Strider PT S30V steel G10 titanium frame lock and I put me a deep carry MXG gear clip on there and that's huge because I, I didn't carry this knife much uh, or I stopped carrying it for a while because the clip was so stinking tight and it left like that much of the knife sticking out so this this clip has got it back in the pocket you know after experiencing this one I had to find one and MXG gear had it there you go might review that one day alright for all you who stuck around I'm gonna give you my sub 3 inch all stars I got 12 categories I got gents carry my best gents carry or favorite gents carry most stout best slicer best action best ergos best fit and finish most used beater hardest to find slim slimmest footprint most expensive best value and most fidgetability of course you got to have that so in my gents carry there were three in this category and that is the cali 3 para 3 and cf and of course you got to have the gent in the gents carry and of these three the winner goes to the Cali 3. This is just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it beats out the Para because it, it doesn't have that tactical look. And it beats out the Gents because it has this nice carbon fiber. It just, I don't know, it just looks, looks nice and classy. Very comfortable. Just love this knife. Love it. Sad they discontinued it. All right. The most stout. In that category, we got one, two, three, we got four. And the four would be the DPX Gear Hess Urban, the Berg's Blade Iron Pup, the Spider Co Techno, and uh, the Hinder Half Track. So, uh, let's see. I'd have to take this one out first, even though it's it's a it's a beefy 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 feller all around. Uh, this guy is nice and beefy. Um, nice bl thick blade stock, but that techno has got it beat. This is a really chunky monkey, so beats out this one. And of these two, I'm going to have to give it to the Hinder Half Track. This thing's just a, a overall beast. They got about close to the same blade stock. The Techno has a little thicker blade stock. But just the overall robust feeling of the Half Track just beats this little guy out. So there you go. And let's get to the best slicer, my favorite category. In this one, we have... The Spiderco Delica. We have the Boker FR. We have the Strider SJ75. We have the Rectifier. And we have the Gent. So let's let's eliminate some right now. And I would say just this is through my cutting, you know, with these knives. And um, this one's too new for me to say, so it's going to go out first. Um, the next would probably be the SJ, even though this is a great slicer for the deep hollow grind. Uh, the next one that would go out is the Delica. Out of these two, it's going to have to go to the Rectifier. The Rectifier is just an outstanding slicing performer. That bevel, I followed the factory bevel and it's 14 degrees per side. Super, super thin hollow grind. Excellent. This thing just acts like the material's not even there. Love, love the performance on this guy. So there you go. Um, 
Best action. It's going to go to either the Viper Lil, the Gent, the Iron Pup, and the, where is it at? Let's Tech Goblin. Okay. This one was tough because they're all super smooth, but I'm going to have to pick the Iron Pup. The Iron Pup has an excellent detent and it has an, uh, an excellent uh, closure. So that's how I chose from this one. It just has a good opening and a good closing. The rest are all on par in the action, but you know, being this one has a heavier blade than the rest and just a smoother action, I have to give it to that one. So there you go. Uh, the next one is Best Ergos. And there's only one in this category, and that is the Power 3, mainly because out of all the knives that I've shown, this is the only one that I can get a, a nice, comfortable four four finger grip without using that front finger toil. Like, um, I can get a four finger grip with this guy, but I'm very cramped back here and it's a lot thinner. So with the, the thicker handle on the Power 3, and uh, for me, those ergos are, are great this way and choking up, so it has to be the Power 3. Uh, best fit and finish. There's only one in this category because it looks almost like a custom in my eyes, and that is the Berg's Blade Iron Pup. It's just so well finished. You know, no, no gaps. You know, things that you see on high-end customs, you know, you got all, all the, the nice, you know, features. You got that bolster lock. Just beautiful. So there you go. Um, let's see. My most used beater. That award goes to my Spyderco Delica and Hap 40. I use the hell out of this knife. Um, I, I use it a lot because it's, it's a good slicer. And it's, it's really easy to touch up this Hap 40. It's, a, it's not... It's not as great of a steel as, as I, I hoped it to be, but um, being that it seems like they might have ran this a little bit softer, I was talking to another YouTuber about this, and he noticed the same thing. So it's still a good steel, you know, definitely above like S30V and a few other steels, but um, it's not phenomenal. Not not as good, it seems, as the Rex 45 is, is being, but... Uh, just, you know, great ergos on this guy. Um, easy to sharpen back up for me. And the only reason the ergos didn't beat out the Para 3 is because the Para 3 is a little thicker. It just feels the hand better for my hands. So there you go. Um, the hardest to find. Out of all those knives I've shown you, this one was the hardest to find. I think I talked about it in another video. The Spyderco Leaf Storm. You know, I could either find one that was all beat to hell or they were asking raping prices for it. I found this one, very good condition and a great deal. So that's, that's the hardest one to find for me. The slimmest footprint of all the knives I've shown, that would have to be the Kaiser Feist. It's just the slimmest in, uh, slimmest in this portion, this one, and thickness out of pretty much all the knives I've shown in like overall so there you go uh most expensive well if i would have paid full price it would have been the my new busker but i did a partial trade and i got a screaming deal on this so this is not my most expensive knife that i've actually paid for that award would go to the strider pt i think this guy was like 350 whenever they were available so yeah that's the most expensive out of all these that I paid for. Um, best value. Now there's three in this category. I'd give it to the Rectifier, the Falcon, and uh, la, 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 the Gent. And how funny, look, they're all produced by Wee Knife Company. So it was a, it was a pretty clear winner in my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two out. The Gent is just uh, an excellent value. If you can if you can get in on one of the mass drop uh, drops for this knife, and you have uh, medium sized hands, 
This is an excellent value. S35 Ian Steel, thick titanium liners, G10, ceramic bearings, great detent, good slicer, and I think they, they were 89 bucks. Excellent, excellent deal in my eyes for the fit and finish quality of what you're getting. So there you go. Um, and the most fidgetability, of course, you got to have that if you're if you're a knife guy. You got to have a, fidget, a fidgetable knife. And that award goes to my new Olamic Buster Busker because you got you got them three opening holes, man. You got the you got that front flipper action. Ooh, and it's such a nice front flipper. Then you got that spotty flick. You got that slow roll. You got that uh, thumb flick. And I don't know if I can do it behind camera, but you got that, oh, I can't do it behind the camera, spotty drop or whatever you want to call it. So definitely most fidgetability. So I hope you all like that. Let me know if, uh, if, if I, any of my choices you would have chose differently. Let me know what your favorite one is out of, out of my collection. Uh, let me know if y'all want to see more collection type like this, you know, uh, or would y'all want to see my uh, $70 and under sub three inch collection video. It's all up to you. And now it's getting to be a uh, very, very long video and I don't want to make any of y'all go to sleep. So if y'all stick around this long, y'all my true, my true fans. And I appreciate that guys and girls. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends and family and your social networks. If you like my videos in general, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell notification button. That way it won't unsubscribe you for no reason and you won't miss any of my content. Especially if I haven't already done my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Because when I'm videoing this, I'm, I'm not there yet. But when I do, it's going to be an epic giveaway. Or I'm doing everything I can to make it epic. So let's, let's get it there so, I, so I can talk more about it. All right. Hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.